it's an awesome feeling to to see your your milk in the store, your name on this glass bottle. It, it just feels right. We started bottling our own milk in returnable glass bottles. You buy your milk in glass bottles, pay a deposit for the bottle, and then you bring your bottles back and you get your deposit back. The response was 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 overwhelming. Uh, people loved the product. Uh, people loved the sustainability aspect of it and people feel good about it. it. It gives them a sense that we're doing something. We're Frank and Annette Volman. We're here in Comanche County. We dairy here uh, since 1993. We made the decision to move from beautiful country in Europe, Luxembourg, to Texas. It just offered a lot more opportunities, a lot more space. Luxembourg is about the size of Comanche County. It's a really small country. We moved and found this beautiful place and we made it our home. We started our operation um, milking 50 cows to the size where we are today. We milk about 5,000 cows. We run this uh, dairy in partnership with our four boys, each one having their own responsibility. Benjamin is the oldest. He's in charge of the farming entity. We farm about 4,000 acres and grow the majority of our own forages. He found his calling in, uh, in farming. He loves growing crops, he loves growing the corn, and does an awesome job. As soon as I graduated college, we started focusing more on growing our own crops for the family farm. We had grown a little bit of corn before, but that's when we started growing a lot more of our own feed and, and corn silage for the dairy. David, he manages the day-to-day -day operations. He's in charge of the milking process and all the cows and the employees that come with it. David always had a passion for cows. He was always fascinated by the whole process and he fell right into that, in that position. On our family farm, we milk cows twice a day, and each cow gives about nine gallons of milk a day, so that makes about 45,000 gallons of milk per day. Daniel, the youngest one, he decided to team up with my brother, and we raise all our heifers at his facility. Andrew, uh, he's in charge of our bottling facility. Andrew decided to pursue his master's degree at Cal Poly in dairy products technology, and he says, let's do something with our milk and bottle your milk in glass bottles. He decided to take that project on. We built that new facility, and right now he's spearheading that, that project. So the milk comes here and we do quality tests on it. We process it so we separate the fat out of it so that we can put it back in for like 2% milks and things like that. And then we pasteurize that milk, we homogenize it, it gets put into a bottle. Once it hits our cooler, we do more quality tests on it to make sure it's only the best. And then it gets put onto our delivery trucks and sent out to stores. They pick up any of the glass bottles that y'all bring back and then it actually comes back to the plant where we take those glass bottles, we rewash them so that they can get refilled again. Right now we produce whole milk, 2% chocolate, strawberry. Our seasonal flavor is Texas homemade vanilla right now. And then uh, we have some more seasonal flavors uh, down the road. It is very rewarding to see that uh, the boys can be now part of our operations and they are all four working together. And then seeing now with them having their little ones, it's awesome to see us all growing as a, as a huge, big family. It all ties together. Everybody has their responsibility and they all have skin in the game. We made them all partners in the business and that kind of gives them a feeling of ownership. They know every morning why they wake up and why the hours are long. That's how we envision to build that legacy. So for them to be part of it, not only by their labor, but also owning a part of it. We can always all help each other out if we need help on a certain days, different jobs and tasks that go on. Sometimes it is a little challenging getting along with everybody, but that's the fun part about it, trying to figure out how we can work together and get the job done. I think as a family, we've always really trusted each other, really worked together to make the job happen. And, and I think it's been like that from the beginning. I can't say that I've helped do one thing solely. I think it was teamwork effort from the beginning uh, with all the family members, whether you know it's them stepping in when we need help here or there, and, and we've all just worked as a team. Our main focus is our, our cows and the people that we work with. Even though we are a larger farm, we're still a family farm and we absolutely care for our cows every day. So the barns and, and all these things we've invested in here on this farm, it's to really make their life better so that they stay healthy, that they can produce a lot of milk, they take care of us, we take care of them. It's a very symbiotic relationship. 
The best feeling is when you walk into a store and there's a line out the door and you can't even get it off the truck because they're just grabbing out of crates. People that you've never met or people that have no clue who you are, they look and they kind of intrigued by the product and you go, yes, that's my milk from my family. And uh, it's, uh, it's just a really cool feeling to get to see that there. We traced our history in agriculture and dairy back five, six generations, moving from Holland to Luxembourg to Texas. This is what we've done all our life and seems like that tradition and that legacy will, will continue.